Son of Saul is the first movie of Hungarian filmmaker Laszlo Nemes and tells the story of a member of the so-called Sonderkommando in Auschwitz-Birkenau. The Sonderkommando consisted of Jews who were considered strong enough to work and who were forced to help the Nazis in the extermination camps. They had to help prepare the genocide, plunder all the belongings of the murdered and burn the victims after the gassing. The members of the Sonderkommando were also known as Geheimnisträger, bearer of secrets, because they witnessed the Holocaust firsthand. Son of Soul takes place in late 1944 and is told completely through the eyes of the Hungarian Jew Saul Auslander. Nemesh's movie has a very distinguished style to it and it gets established right from the very first shot. The whole image is blurry, nothing is in focus until our protagonist soul gets close to the camera. From here on we follow only him, each step he takes and almost every shot he is visible and what's around him only appears vague. We follow him into the undressing room, see how he accompanies the new arrivals, how the Nazis tell them the procedure is only for disinfection and that a hot soup and good work awaits them after the showers. Shortly after the door to the gas chamber closes and Soul has to stand right next to it and listen to the screams of the dying people. It's a hard, terrifying movie. It shows us the Holocaust from a very intimate perspective. Nemesh doesn't exploit, he doesn't show us in full focus all the crimes and atrocities that were happening in Auschwitz. He rather decides to stay with one protagonist and through the way he shuts the movie and tells the story, we get a sense of the daily routine in that extermination camp and also get a feeling of how it affected Soul and why he developed a numbness towards everything around him. The movie rolls over you, it's permanently in motion. It's told in many long shots following Soul, only cuts in a few instances. Everything has to be fast, there's no mercy and death is everywhere. The basic story of the movie is that Soul discovers a dead boy who he believes is his son. He then tries everything he could to provide him with a decent Jewish burial and therefore he needs to find a rabbi. He's emotionally numbed by now, only a piece in a factory, but he wants to have some humanity back by doing this it seems. It's a tour de force as we witness him very closely trying to make his way through the different areas of the camp in search for a rabbi. By doing so, Nemesh is able to show the different steps of the Nazi extermination machinery. The arrival at the railroad track, the undressing room, the dragging of the dead bodies to the crematoriums, the stealing of all the dead's belongings, the shooting and burning of innocent people outdoors because their ovens were full, till the scattering of the ashes in the nearest river so that nobody would know about their crimes. Most of it is only blurred in the background, but you got a real good sense of it. There's also so much happening on the sound level. Nemesh doesn't use music, instead we hear so many different languages, yelling, screams and noises from all the things going on in that death factory. It all adds to that grim, horrendous world. Son of Saul is also composed in a full screen aspect ratio that supports the intimate and also kind of claustrophobic nature of the movie. But the way the movie is shot and told also means that there is not much room for other characters or even for easy emotions to grasp. Like I said, Saul has become dead inside and acting like a madman, only focusing on getting that boy buried. It's challenging to watch, but it's also rewarding and one of the most unique Holocaust films or films in general that I've seen. If you have seen the movie, please tell me in the comments below what you think about Son of Soul and I hope to see you guys soon.